This is Damon Dash, and this is the Dash Diabetes Network. I might not be a doctor, but I'm definitely in a doctor's state of mind. This is Raquel Horn, and she's wifey for lifey, and we're in love for a living, which means we do everything together 24-7, seven, seven days a week, which means we are one. So, you know, I'm diabetic, so basically she has to live the lifestyle of a diabetic. You know, I like her in front of me every single second, and I want to make sure that I get all of her attention, so I really don't like eating out so much. Well, it doesn't make us feel that good, too. Yeah, and we don't like the food. We don't like the way it makes us feel. Mm -hmm. Well, the main reason we've done this segment is because we've had a lot of different people in the house, but one thing I've learned is how to cook for Damon, and there's certain meals that he does like and certain meals that he doesn't like. He's indulgent, let's just say. Let's just say diabetes has not held him back If, if I like anything. something, I definitely like a lot of it. Yes. All day, every yes. day. So if there is pizza around and he's going to eat it, but... It kills my blood sugar. The carbs and the pizza and the cheese and the dough and all that, it doesn't kick in, you can't time it. So with diabetes, when you have a carb, like a bread, it doesn't kick in like fast. It kicks in maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours, sometimes three hours later. It could have about two different hits too, right? It digests about two different times. Right, like so like let's say the tomato mm -hmm. sauce digests at one time, or rather that kicks in at one time, the dough might kick in at another time. Mm -hmm. It's basically impossible to control or manage for me. Well, since I don't want to go out to eat, I decided to make you a pizza at the house. Okay, I like pizza. You know I love pizza. That's one of yeah, my favorite Yeah, but it's a foods. special pizza. What's special about it? Um, there's no dough. There's no dough. Mm -mm. I don't like the way that sounds on any level. <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, it's, there's no flour in the dough. There's no extra stuff. So you're saying that you're not going to have any dough at all? No, there's no it's flour. It's going to be cauliflower as the dough. Mm -hmm. And you're going to tell me I'm going to still love this like pizza? Yes. I mean, the good part about that is that it's not going to affect my uh, sugar so, so bad. Mm -mm. The bad part about eating a real pizza is the dough and the, 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 the tomato sauce. They all kick in at different times. Mm -hmm. And I end up having the the old fashioned way, take a lot of insulin and, you know, keep testing my blood every hour and taking more insulin, but it's almost impossible to cover. Well, with this one, we don't have to play those games. This should be very easy. Is it going to be cheese? Yes, there will be cheese. All right, so just no crust. Just no crust. All right, yes. well, let's do it. For the cauliflower crust, you'll need these ingredients. Start with the cauliflower crust. In a large bowl, add the strained cauliflower, two large eggs, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and a mixture of Parmesan and Romano cheese. Shredded mozzarella cheese. You want to knead the mixture until it becomes the consistency of dough. Now line the baking sheet with parchment paper. Spread the cauliflower mixture into a rectangle. Bake at 425 degrees for 15 minutes or until golden brown. For your pizza topping, begin by spreading the tomato sauce evenly. Add in a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar cheese, a few red pepper flakes, some fresh basil leaves, and bake it all at 420 degrees for about five minutes or until your cheese is melted. Are you ready to try it? I'm ready to try anything you do. Okay. All right, good. I got to see this. All right. Okay. It's smelling like pizza. Mm hmm It's looking like pizza. Yeah. Guess what? This cutting board? It's a work of art. I can yeah. take a picture of it. My dad made it. How cool is that? Your father's always outmanning me. Paul is doing some old Superman. Yeah, he set my standards pretty high. Try it. You're going to love it. Mm. Oh, I love eating your food. It's good? Nah, it's real good. I could do this all day. So you're telling me this isn't gonna affect my sugar, nothing. And taste this good. No, I don't I don't think it's gonna affect your sugar at all. So it's really it's the crust is made from cauliflower and cheese and um, some spices and then you have fresh marinara sauce and some cheese on top. And you could dress it up, you know, however you wanted it. I could make it more elaborate, but I know we just like plain cheese pizza. Now, I'm not gonna lie. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't feel like I compromised at all. You know, I don't feel that guilt that I usually Good. feel. You know, I didn't have to take so much of my Fresa. I just took a, a, a puff, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, it, it feels like it's something I could control. It's interesting who 
help me perfect this recipe with Tallulah because she was really concerned about making sure you could eat right too. So this is something that you could cook with the little girl, my yes. baby? Yes. Oh my gosh. She has so much fun making the dough. It was like spreading it out and getting messy. It's fun. This is something I could make again? Yeah. We could do this all day. You could do this at a party. I liked it. I loved it. I didn't feel like I had to compromise okay. any integrity, any quality of living. So I was able to live healthy, no guilt, be diabetic. You didn't have to take too much insulin, and you looked real good while you made it, so it was no loss regardless. I always trust you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. If you want to learn more about being a diabetic and being cool while you're diabetic and the lifestyle of a diabetic, check out the Dash Diabetes Network. Holla back. I'm amazed. I didn't know anything like this existed. I like it. I like this idea. We showed people with diabetes something they'd never seen before. Inhaled insulin. It's inhaled. No, I would consider this. <laughs> I could inhale it. And you said you inhale it? It's neat. It's, it's really neat. I like the design. It's very fascinating. I, I don't know. I don't have the right words for this. I'm going to talk to my doctor. I'm going to find out if this is something that's for me. And if it is, we're going to make some changes. Insulin you inhale. Ask your doctor if a Frezza is right for you. Go to afreza.com to learn more.